the Soviet government might have survived. Less than three years later, Dr. Teller and his team brought the concept of nuclear fusion to reality. The United States was the first and only country in the world successfully testing hydrogen bombs. But the Soviets were not far behind. In 1954, the USSR had also achieved H-bomb capability. Soon afterwards, both countries adopted the military strategy called MAD for mutual assured destruction. And the quantities in which it was ultimately produced, it would have ended civilization. If we'd had a nuclear exchange, as we might have had if we hadn't had reasonable leaders on both sides, the world as we know it could have been like Neville shoots on the beach. I mean, everybody might have been dead. The element plutonium does not exist naturally in any significant quantity. It must be manufactured. Bombs will return on Modern Marvels. Bombs of mass destruction, capable of annihilating nations, have such a negative impact on civilian populations that most nations in the so-called nuclear club have since concentrated on 